standing next to a second degree black belt jiu-jitsu athlete, and today we're gonna find out who's fitter. Is it gonna be a crossfitter or the jiu-jitsu athlete? Oh, hey, ah, oh, we didn't start yet. My name is Michael Morelia, and I am a CrossFitter through and through. I love CrossFit because it is all completely scalable, which means any movement you want to do, you can make it easy all the way to extremely hard. CrossFit allows me to train in a bunch of different modalities, which is why it's so appealing to me. I can go all the way from calisthenics all the way to Olympic weightlifting. So through CrossFit, I can train just about anything and be prepared for any situation, just like today, when I'm gonna verse this black belt athlete. Hey, good afternoon guys, my name is Neil Hurl. I'm a second degree IBJJF certified black belt. Been doing Jiu Jitsu for 30 years, I'm 5'9", 175, multiple time IBJJF medalist and gold medal champion. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu athletes are known for our core strength, our dexterity, and our mobility. And today, I'm gonna to show the world what that's all about. You know, one thing with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I might not be the biggest guy in the room, but they always say it's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. All right, in order to determine who's gonna be the fittest out of today, Neil is gonna pick two workouts and I'm gonna pick two workouts. This is gonna make it completely fair because he's obviously gonna pick stuff he specializes in. I'm gonna pick things that I specialize in with CrossFit and if there just happens to be a tiebreaker, we're gonna have a randomized workout at the end Stay tuned because it's going to get interesting to see who's going to take it home and who's going to be the fittest out of today. All right, so the first workout we're going to complete is actually a CrossFit workout. Absolute classic. We're going to introduce some plyometrics with some kettlebell work. So we're going to keep it nice and easy. We're not doing any ultra endurance workouts today. we got a lot to get through and we're going to keep it on the shorter side. This is going to be two minutes. Neil, we're going to perform two box jump overs and two hang kettlebell snatches. Now, every round you're going to increase the rep count by two. So four box jump overs, four hang snatches, six, six, eight, eight, and whoever can go the highest in two minutes. Just to give you an advantage, I'm going to go first so Neil knows exactly how high he needs to get to beat me. You up for the task? Let's do it. All right, two minute workout. Crossfitter is going up first. Count me down. Three, two, one, hit. snatches and then got an additional 10 box jump overs on the round of 12. Now, it's Neil's turn. Let's see how he's feeling. Three, two, and one. Starting off with that round of two. Eight. Let's go, Neil. <laughs> Fell short, man. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, that was workout one, a classic CrossFit workout where you're just comparing two movements, going high intensity, just trying to finish. Neil, how did you feel? Because you were at a great pace. I felt strong going in. I think I just went too hard at the beginning. I should have paced myself a little slower. Going up against a CrossFit athlete, guys, these movements combined together, it's tough. It's double tough. Again, it's going to raise your heart rate so high to a point where by the time it hits you, it's too late to bring it back down. You're gonna blow up. That's a classic thing to happen to people who are first starting off with CrossFit. Going out too hot, blow up. Next thing you know, you're on the floor. Yeah, you're on the floor. So we're gonna take that win for workout one. Now we're gonna head into workout two, which is going to be one of Neil's. I can't wait to see what he has in store for us. All right, Neil, so workout number two. Um, what are we doing? Workout number two is an inversion technique, okay? 10 push-ups followed by side jiu-jitsu rolls. Guys, these are complex. He's gonna have to fold his body in half, keep his body one direction the whole time. After that, back to CrossFit. Basics again, 10 squats, and then the finale, the finish on the race is gonna be what we call a reverse shrimp crawl. That's the one that's gonna be a huge surprise for you, my friend. 
All right, like I said, two of these movements I'm really good at. Two of these movements I've never heard of, but it's 25 feet apart, 10 push-ups, 10 squats, racing in between. We're gonna see who's going to prevail and who's gonna be the fittest by today. Awesome. Here we are, workout number two. I already know I'm gonna get rocked at this one, but I'm gonna give it my best effort because that is what being a crossfitter is all about. Any last words for me? Good luck, bro. Good luck. Boom. I knew I was gonna lose at this workout, but I didn't understand how much I was gonna lose by. You got about a full lap length. You know, crash cards, man. All I gotta say, I heard some squeaking out there today. I was sticking to the damn guy. I couldn't move. Shrimp crawls, never done them before. Super hard, but I definitely would wanna come back and add that into the routine, really focus on some core, really develop those hamstrings. Absolutely, man. It's all about that core and dexterity. When you mix the two together, it's a dynamic, potent mix, for sure. I may have lost this workout, but I'm definitely getting fitter in the process and really identifying my weaknesses, something I wanna work on. Let's get ready, next workout, back to the CrossFit stuff. All right, we are on to workout number three. Again, back at the CrossFit workouts. This is going to be monostructural in nature, which means we're gonna pick one movement. It's gonna be in a cyclical pattern, which means all conditioning. We're gonna see how you stack up. You ready to find out what it is? Let's go. All right, again, on a two minute clock, which means you guys can do this at home too. We're gonna to do max burpees. Sounds easy, right? No. <laughs> That's not it, guys. We're gonna have one of my favorites, a 45 pound run to the scenario. So, two minutes max burpees with 45 extra pounds. You wanna give this a feel? I knew it. Oh, dude. It was too easy. Not now. All right, guys, so let's get situated. Two minutes on the clock, we're gonna get set up. All right, again, two minutes on the clock, as many burpees with this 45 pack that I can get through. Neil's gonna give me a countdown. I'm gonna go first, just like last time, which gives him the advantage to know exactly what number he has to beat if he wants to take a win from me. Ready with that countdown? Let's do it. In three, two, and go. Oh God. Oh, the pack makes it so much worse. Workouts done. One jiu-jitsu workout done. We are on to the last to see if there's going to be a tiebreaker or I'm going to take home the victory today. What do we got? I got to tell you, man, it's going to incorporate a little bit of what we did in the first thing, but it is a race. I like racing. Loves races. So we're going to put them to the challenge, guys. We're going to do a jiu-jitsu specific movement. It's called a barambolo drill or a roll. But the concept is you're going to go around me twice with this in a rolling type of a fashion, and I think you're gonna remember that inverted roll we did a few minutes ago. So, take uh, that with it, but let's hit it. I have no idea the word that just came out of his mouth. I understood race and two laps. So, fair enough. You're gonna go first, and then hopefully I'll just pick up, you know, the necessities I need just from looking at it. Absolutely, I think you clearly see what I'm doing. 
and it's gonna give him the advantage, guys, because he's gonna see an expert do it first. All right, let's go. All right, this is workout number four. I still don't know what's going on. I was just told to stand here. He's got to go two laps around me in some fashion, and then I just have to replicate it and hopefully go faster. All right, you got all the keys you need. Use your eyes. Watch what I do. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. What? What's up? What? I think that was two, but you know what? Let's bring it backwards. Just to make it a little more challenging for you. I literally have no idea what was going on. I was expecting some type of fitness race. This is clearly a race on just high finesse movements, but dude, if I kick you in the nuts, I'm so sorry. <laughs> All good. Oh! 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 I mean, let's be honest, guys, I, I knew I was at a disadvantage going into this thing, so I really wanted to showcase the fine motor skills, the dexterity, the inverted movements that we use in jiu-jitsu. And it's a one-of-a-kind thing. Our sport really does do a lot of inverted movements and cardio that way, and it's an incredibly difficult thing for someone to say, come off the street and just pick that up and jump right in. Guys, impossible. just like CrossFit, we're gonna have those finesse movements just like a muscle-up, handstand walking. They're incorporated in CrossFit, a take, it could be a lifetime to master. So, when we talk about a second degree back pull out, he definitely mastered his craft. Me coming in off the streets doing this stuff, I was in no way, shape, or form going to win. That means we are going in to a tiebreaker to see who the fittest is, and the tiebreaker itself is going to be a blast. Neil has a special surprise for me. He's gonna let you in on what's going on. So guys, obviously it was CrossFit versus Jiu Jitsu, so I see no other way to solve this thing than to have a fight at the end. But the twist is the traditional uniform of Jiu Jitsu. Mike, we're gonna take you out of your shirtless existence. We're gonna put a uniform on him, guys. This is out of my element. <laughs> all right, we're about to head into the tiebreaker. I got my gear. Why don't you explain it all to me, what I got, what I got going on. Well, you know, we might be tough black belts if we put our pants on one leg at a time. Super easy for you there. No problem. Little drawstring, just wiggle them in, get yourself nice and tight. Perfect. <laughs> I feel <laughs> extra powerful in the gear. Now, that we're suited up, what are we doing? So Mike, we're gonna do a very traditional jujitsu skill set. In an exercise, we do it every class. Go ahead and pass the dribble. It's as simple as this, guys. I'm gonna lay on my back on the floor. Mike's gonna try and get past my legs. We're gonna set the clock for two minutes. If he gets past, he wins. Simple. Guys, all I have to do is pass his guard, and I'm gonna be the fittest today. Two minutes to do so. If I fail, we're gonna get the W. The kneel here, and then, you know, we'll just chalk it up to us getting fitter, but we got some work to do. Boss. Okay guys, uh, so here it is. Mike's just gonna pass my guard. Maybe give him two minutes on the clock to do that. But keep in mind, Mike, the time stops. If I flip you over and take you out of control, or I submit you. So, you might not get the full two minutes, is what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna be very real. It feels super easy, especially because I get to start standing. Absolutely. Absolutely. But I, I know that's not the case. We're gonna see what happens. right now. I look beat up. Lost both my gauges. Uh, yeah. Oh, man, I tell you what, the great run. 
kudos to you. Uh, guys, CrossFit's no joke, and this guy is a very good athlete. Extremely explosive, very strong. Took me a minute to slow him down. But, you know, again, element, E, jiu-jitsu, it's just a different finesse, man. Fine motor skills, ultra finesse. I don't stand a chance if I was going on a real one-on-one -on -one fight. I had the advantage just to try to pass him. Couldn't do that. A man, double degree, second degree black belt, absolutely takes the win for today. Comes out victorious. He is the fittest. Good work, man. <laughs> Appreciate you, bro. Tough day, tough day.